Hello and welcome back to Let's Play GTA 3. This episode we're going to head over to Asuka over in uh, Port Stortonier and we're going to get the next mission. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! Man, you know what? I don't think Miguel's got it too bad. But <laughs> anyway, we're going to head over to Shoreside Vale and uh, see what we can do about these cartel death squads, as uh, she calls them. And uh, what's interesting, at least to me, probably not to anyone else, is that um, she mentions that they're uh, dotted all over Liberty. Well, they're not. They're all uh, situated pretty close together in the vicinity of uh, Pike Creek which is uh, the place where the Yakuza are actually waiting to kill them, so they're not, they're not exactly too far out of the way, which is a good thing. I'm, uh, I'm thinking that maybe perhaps uh, they were originally meant to be situated in uh, further, further out spots, but uh, as you'll see while we're actually doing the mission, the AI for the, uh, for the cartel card is not too crash hot and uh, well they have a uh, tendency to sort of get stuck on walls and uh, blow themselves up and all sorts of stupid shit so thankfully uh, their positions are a little closer but there's one here now you want him to uh, start following you over to the yellow blip I think it is and uh, well yeah that the AI, they'll just follow you, uh, and not even that well, really. So, if... They'll, they'll never get out of their cars until you drive them to the right place, so... If they blow up on the way, then... Well, you fail a mission. And if you also, if you kill them before they get here, then you'll also fail a mission, and... What is he doing? Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, as you can see, he's, uh gotten stuck on a wall. There we go. So here's the uh, Yakuza death trap. Shit. And they'll, uh, they'll blow them up. There we go. Yeah, you'll, uh, you're actually able to kill them yourself, but only once they've uh, arrived in this area. And I'm not sure what happens if you actually kill any of the Yakuza members yourself whether or not that fails the mission, but I'm not going to try. Hey, you decent landing. we got to get ourselves a new car, because if the, uh, if the next set of cartel decide to actually ram us to the point of blowing up, then we'll be in a lot of trouble as far as completing the mission goes. But this should do nicely. You also, uh, because I did actually fail this the first time, uh, you don't want to have too fast of a car, while it will stop them from uh, from ramming you and uh, dealing you any damage, if you get too far away from them, the AI pathing will get lost and they'll end up driving all over the city looking for you, and once that starts happening then it's a real pain in the ass to get them to follow you again, so you want to just make sure you're constantly in their sights, but not close enough that they can actually hurt you in any way, so can't really see because of the slope of this road, if they're following or not. Let me just wait for them for a bit. There we go, alright. So, just like last time. You also want to make sure they don't end up driving off the cliff here. Which they can sometimes do bit dangerous, but should be okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh, 
Also, you don't want to be too close to the Carcel Sentinels when uh, when the Yakuza start opening fire on them because the well, the Yakuza could hit your car and kill you. But also, if they blow up the uh, cartel car while it's too close to you, then you'll also blow up in a chain reaction. So you want to be pretty careful. So in in uh, in essence, it's not really a hard mission. It just there's a lot that can go wrong pretty uh, pretty easily. don't want to take that entrance there, uh, you want to take this one on the side because there's this lamp post by the other door and the AI has a tendency to get stuck on it. Alright, well, that's the mission done and I think before we turn off the video, I'm going to take you to the Shoreside Vale safe house. So, we'll go on a little tour of uh, Shoreside Vale here, over the dam. Uh, Shoreside Vale is essentially split into two islands, and uh, navigating to either side of those islands is pretty annoying. It's just sort of a maze of roads and uh, elevations. And because you can't open any overhead map on uh, GTA 3, you will probably get lost a lot your first time here, and probably uh, probably further on than that. I'm still finding myself getting lost here from time to time, because the roads are just not logically laid out in any way, but down here is pretty nice with a good draw distance. You can even see oh, the faintest Painters building of Portland, but mostly uh, Staunton Island. The uh, that sort of draw distance is only capable on a. Oh, you can see the airport there as well. Sort of draw distance is only uh, capable on a, on a PC, or not not on a console. That's for sure. Not when it was first released. But here we go. Here's the safe house. We'll be starting here um, next video, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.